Hello, Cleric again. Um, something I wanted to go over, I've been thinking about quite a bit, um, mostly due to some things you see on Reddit, on social media posts, kind of talking about the filter. Uh, the filter being the introduction level or the first level you get when you first start the story mode of Armored Core 6. Now, I'm not particularly a fan of calling it the filter. Uh, I've seen the memes, I realize that some of them are, in all honesty, pretty funny, uh, but really it's not designed to be a filter the more and more i thought about the level design for the intro mission to armor core 6 the more i realized it's, it's actually kind of genius the way the level is set up as far as teaching you not just the buttons not just the controls not just some situational awareness although situational situational awareness is a big part of it uh, a bigger part of it is the fact that it's trying to teach you a certain mindset now, so when we did the PvP showcase and when we did uh, other portions of the game, as I mentioned in my uh, quick tips too, the game developers were insistent when we interviewed them that we include omnidirectional movement as part of the description of the game and pointing it out. In other words, it's not just a, a, a horizontal plane that this game exists on. There's actually a rather large vertical plane as a part of this game. Hence why they kept pushing omnidirectional movement. And this introductory level, the first level of the game, the, the, the what everyone's kind of calling the filter with the helicopter boss, it is designed to teach you that omnidirectional or vertical movement. It's trying to get you into the mindset that you need to start thinking more vertically and how you approach the game as far as enemies go. So we're gonna load up right here, and I already loaded up the first mission. And we're gonna go to the intro stage. Now you may notice the very first thing you have to do other than just doing boosting and movement is you have to go up. The first thing you have to do. <laughs> so already, I'm trying to get you to think about going up. When you're up here, it shows you this reticle movement saying, hey, you can look down and prioritize targets and shoot them, right? Based on your camera angle. Showing how being vertical gives you a good vantage point. Explains you your different your buttons do, your targeting assist, which I will not be using. And honestly, this little part of the game right here is probably the most horizontal portions of the entire game. And it really is just to kind of show you the multi the importance of multi-lock. And even then, the, the, the higher health enemy was at the top. You had to ascend vertically to get to. Here it mentions using repair kits. And then we'll go on down, we'll skip this cutscene and go to the rest of the stage. The Notice, when it mentions quick boost, it's the accelerator in any direction, helping evade attacks or swiftly close in enemies. Talks a lot about closing in on enemies. It's another one of the design choices that the developers said they wanted to push was the idea of aggression or burst. You notice the very first thing, it, you see how it prioritizes the fact that you should be focusing on the guy on the cliff first? And then it gets to assault boost, right? Now with assault boost, notice it doesn't say this is for traveling great distances over open areas, even though that's essentially what we're about to do. It says assault boost is for rapidly moving in any direction, the camera's facing, or to rapidly approach targets. That will come into play later. I have no energy. <laughs> Follow right. the markers. There we go. We're going to start with the left one, make our way over.
Mentions here things with the shields could use a blade on, which is true. Maybe what I also seen through the interaction that the blade does a lot of ACS or a lot of stagger. That's why I was insisting you use the blade in case you didn't know you had it. This one's already expired. Keep looking. I noticed something. Enemy there is vertical. Enemy there is vertical from your position. What? Big enemy comes in. That's vertical. Flies off. Analyzing. Notice big enemy that's very dangerous once again is up in the air. This lock. Corp license easily traced. Forget it. We'll move our way here. Again, that enemy is vertical. Move on down. All these enemies are vertical, except for those couple down there. All these enemies are vertical. Noticing a trend yet? I sure do. He says, since you have multiple targets, you should use missiles, which is absolutely correct. That's what you should do. I don't know if target on him. Alright. I mean, scan without being shot. Again, this was no good. It's still valid, but the pilot's rank is no good. We can't use this. Let's go telescope here. And once again, notice where the game is telling taking us. Transmitting marker. Go and check it up out. vertically. Up here. Alright. Vertical catapult. Launch vertically. Salt boost for efficiency purposes. That's it. Try accessing the wreck. We're gonna get this license. Now notice, I'll go over just a little bit to kind of just give you a little bit of a vantage point when I talk about this. Look at the landscapes. Notice in this area where most of the enemies were were on top of bridges and buildings or taller buildings than what you were on. Very few were actually down low on the water or the streets. You also may have noticed while we were doing some of those enemies that they couldn't hit us from where they were because we were too far below them in the buildings. So, so due to their directions, even though they're vertical, cover is very much a thing and they cannot attack you if you're not within a certain view angle from the corner of the building. But notice how most of this is all pointing to using vertical combat or vertical interactions as far as where your enemies are going to be located. All of this is building up to what... what has been dubbed the filter, which is the helicopter boss coming up here in a second. There's even a point where Walter says something, which is giving you even more hints on how to approach this boss. Registration number RB23. Rank fits the bill. Call sign. What? Looks like they were on to you after all. We use the assault boost to get up pretty far faster. Stay on the ground, see how I'm just out in the open and getting shot, and how that's not very smart. And what that's doing to me. You see the they see the shots coming, see the little red arctic reticles thing you shooting at you? Use the assault boost to get up close. Do some damage. Now we stay on, we stay underneath them. It's, it's kind of like the buildings. There's only so much you can do. And go up an assault boost again. Doing lots of damage to him. 
but we're gonna try to stay in this blind spot, much like we live as if we're underneath the buildings. We we're gonna assault boost up again. Assault boost up again. Oh, he got, he's using the out of bounds trick. We gotta get in the cover. We're gonna die. No, he's using it again. So that's the one problem with this boss too, you may notice. You can go out of bounds sometimes. Even with that though, we're doing enough damage to him, it doesn't matter. And he dies. The game is trying to show you how to approach the game all throughout the entire introduction level. That's what it's trying to show you. It's saying, hey, look up. Hey, look at cover. Hey, look at how you approach these enemies. Hey, big giant thing about to blow you up. Probably should go hide somewhere so it doesn't kill you. Because by the way, that attack helicopter, when it comes zooming through earlier in the map, if you're out in the open, it will shoot at you and it does do some serious damage to you. Raven. So yes, all of this is designed to show you how you are to approach the game. Now, people call it the filter. I realize Ogre's son enjoys uh, wearing his um, his skill issue t-shirt. Uh, and honestly, there is some truth to that. There is, there is some skill necessary for this game. But if you look at this, as far as this illegal entry goes, this first mission, this very first mission, the game, the mission that you go into before you can do anything else in Armored Core, you can't even do PvP until you beat Chapter 2. It's showing you the importance of approaching the game from a very certain standpoint. You want to look at the verticals. You want to look at the cover. You want to look at the game from a particular angle. It's encouraging you multi-times to use their often quoted and often stated and often pushed in their media forms the omnidirectional movement of this game. Now, I realize for some people, well, well, duh. Of course, that's what it's for. Of course, that's what we're supposed to do. Of course, that's what it means. Yes, I understand. But I feel like people need to realize the subtleties of the genius of this level. It really is designed to show you what they're trying to approach for this game as a design methodology for the fights as a whole. Because if anyone fights pretty much any of the bosses, anyone, everyone knows pretty much every boss you go into, except for maybe one or two, verticality is huge. You need this to a point against Baltius. You're going to need this against the spider boss. You're going to need against this. I'm not going to mention it anymore in case it's a spoiler for you. In the clean sweeper and examples, it was in a lot of the things you saw for the advertisements. Verticality is very important for all of these bosses. So the more you can get ingrained to your head that they're trying to teach you a design philosophy for the way to design the encounters in this game, it's going to hold you back if you try not to adapt to it accordingly. So I want people to kind of understand there really is a lot of genius to even the very first level that you're forced to go into with a build that is a blade and a rifle and the most basic missile and no even they only have all four weapons at once. I don't even have one yet. It is there to encourage you to realize that, hey, this is how you want to we want you to play our game. We think this is what will reward you and show you the best possible experience and to get the most out of it. It, it, it's designed to show you that they want something particular in mind for what they've envisioned combat and the experience to be for Armored Core. Now, some people are like, well, I want to play Armored Core the way I want to play it. Look, after you get to a certain point with a lot of builds, you kind of can. I was showing people the other day in the stream when I was going against the, the sweeper boss where I literally just stayed on the ground the whole time and I found ways to beat him. There are ways of doing it. It's definitely more difficult by comparison, but it's it, the, the level is... From the very beginning, the game is trying to show to you the importance of paying attention to your surroundings, the verticality, and how you approach different enemy encounters. And you'll see this all throughout the game as things go on. So, that's it. That's the video. It's something I've had on my mind. It, it may seem pretty duh or kind of obvious to a lot of people, but I, I think this is something, this video particularly, I think you can show this to a lot of people who are very frustrated with the very beginning of the game and realize that it's it's not designed to filter you out and say this game is not meant for you. The level is not designed to get you to hate their design or to hate the game or say it's too hard or force you to learn a boss fight. Look, you don't really need to learn the helicopter fight. There isn't that really that much to learn. It's literally just an approach. 
As long as you use cover and assault boost in and blade, you're pretty much good. Now you may have seen I got cheaped out a couple times by him being stuck behind the barrier. Uh, but if you just stay behind cover so he's not stuck behind the barrier, assault boost your way back up again, blade him a couple times and he's dead. It doesn't take very much. I got a B rank on that going slow and just trying to demonstrate what was going on. You know, as you see as S ranked it, I really just did the same thing. I just went up and bladed and bladed and bladed until he died. The game has a purpose and a function for why it has you start off this way. And honestly, I think it's really smart. So if you have anyone who's frustrated by the mechanics of this game, especially the early beginning or the very start, maybe you can show them this video and maybe you can help them out, maybe change their mindset a little bit as far as how they look at this game. All right. If you have any ideas, suggestions, or comments, feel free to put comments down on the video. Uh, like and subscribe if you want to see more of this kind of stuff. You can become a member. Uh, oh, by the way, thank you to the newest member. I did it again to where I forgot, and I'm going to put it up right now. I'm pulling it up. I have my newest membership here. And I want to say thank you to Hound7. Hound7, I appreciate you becoming a member. Ma'am Cam is a raven. I appreciate you doing that for me. Thank you for the support. I hope I make it worth it to you. Uh, also, join our Discord. There's also information for that down below in the description. Honestly, it's a really cool, chill, and helpful place. People have all kinds of ideas. Lots of PvP have been going on lately and people discussing build ideas and testing them out. So come join us. We're a pretty cool place to hang out. So until then, I will see you in the next video.